station putting local first. This is KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Daniel Money. Natasha is off tonight. You got our push alert. KTSM, the first to break that El Paso police officers will no longer be allowed to escort funeral processions, at least not for now. KTSM 9 News reporter Cesar Vasquez live with how recent collisions caused this change in policy. The decision coming from El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen coming after two motorcycle officers were seriously injured in the past three weeks after being run over while working on processions. Now, as we've previously reported, Officer Daniel Rodriguez was escorting a funeral in East El Paso as the procession was going down Zaragoza. A driver allegedly cut through the procession, crashing into Officer Rodriguez's motorcycle. A week before, another officer was struck by an SUV on 375. An officer was also killed four years ago while working a procession. The new policy will go into effect on Friday. We went out to ask people their take on officers no longer directing motorcades. It's hard to imagine a funeral procession without a police escort. I don't know what they ex intend to do, but uh, I can understand why they're being cautious. I don't see the need for them to change anything, but they should be uh, willing and able to throw the book at people if they break the law like that. County Sheriff's Office has a policy in place banning deputies from escorting funeral processions and police say the halt will remain until the process is reviewed and they make changes to improve the safety of escorting officers. Reporting live in downtown El Paso, Cesar Vasquez, KTSM 9 News. All right, Cesar, thank you very much. We have an update.